Yo, so I was walking around in my room for like five minutes trying to figure out what video I should drop on Wednesday because I didn't have a video. And then Aniplex decided to drop this Mari and Kitagawa situation onto my lap. So that's what we're talking about today. I'm going to be doing this all in one shot, seeing what happens. And you can put me in the background. There's not going to be a lot of visual aid except for this Mari and Kitagawa figure, which is an Aniplex Plus exclusive made by Aniplex. And... There's two things I want to talk about this figure. One, I will address very lightly right now. Some of you people on my figure collection got to chill. Like, yeah, I think her face is better on some other, like, resin figures, for example. Like, some of the figures that I mentioned uh, two weeks ago with Marin. Like, I think those look better than here. But, like, she's not that bad. Like, she really isn't that bad. Like... I still think that this looks like Mara and Kijigawa at the end of the day. And that's why we're having this situation that's happening right now. It's either that or like we're having a FUMO situation where everybody that is gonna like buy her and then proceed to mark her up like $100 and then flip her on the aftermarket has like updated their bots and added Mara and Kijigawa and My Dress Up Darling figures into their like bot playlist. And that's where we lead to the main of this video where... For whatever reason, wherever you go, like Solaris, Hobby Genki, Mecha Japan, everywhere you go, they have sold out of Marin. And I think they have her up a little bit. Like, I think uh, Mecha Japan has her for 22,000 yen, which her Aniplex Plus price is about 18,000 yen, which, I mean, it's not bad compared to, like, say, like, getting the Zero Two or the My Bunny figure when they didn't have a re release. Like, I saw those figures like in 2020 like when they release in the aftermarket going for like 400 500 bucks and I was like damn luckily I don't really like them that much but for whatever reason Aniplex has made it so hard to get a Marin Kiyigawa figure that it's like it's not even like worth like going for until she like she releases like it would be easier paying 400 bucks than having to jump through like leaps and bounds to try to get her right now. It seems like not a lot of proxy services except for White Bunny wants to deal with Aniplex Plus for whatever reason. I guess Aniplex is just so like uptight on trying to keep their products in Japan for whatever reason because I don't even like want to like <laughs> open that can of worms. But it's, for whatever reason, Aniplex is like public enemy number one when it comes to international fans trying to get merch from them because like. It was hard to get the Mai and uh, Zero Two figures because they were just like Aniplex exclusives and they only went up on like Tom and they were very, very like silent about it. Like the, uh, what was it? Crunchyroll exclusives made by Apex Innovations or Apex Toys of the, um, of Toru and Kana. Like I didn't even know that they existed until like I got like a Crunchyroll ad and they were like, oh, Crunchyroll store, we have these figures. And I was like, what the fuck? And it was like literally like a week before their pre-orders closed. And I was like, what the fuck? Damn, okay. Any place is essentially like that. They're just so ghostly about everything. Like I like last time I checked on this figure, it was still in prototype phase. Like I didn't even know. <laughs> Honestly, like if you don't really like this figure, I still think you should care in a little bit of this situation because like Aniplex has a lot of rights to a lot of copyrights and if they make it this hard to get a figure in the future like who knows like what they're gonna get like if they have the rights to I don't know the big next big anime then like fight and they make it this hard then like <laughs> like maybe figure prices are going up because of fucking Aniplex like who the fuck knows like why are they making it so hard to just get Marin <laughs> like people on my figure collection are so dumbfounded on why she's selling out and like it's literally because she's Marin Kiyigawa like she's so popular like people who like just started watching anime know who Marin Kiyigawa is well obviously because of recency bias but people who have been in the anime game for so long are like oh yeah of course, like a Marin Kiyigawa figure, fuck yeah, I'm gonna buy it. Like, even if there is no scammers, like, fucking, like, botting these bots, then fucking, of course, like, there's gonna be a lot of people who got eyes onto this figure because this is the first one that's publicly out now. Aniplex has another one in the works where she's in Bikini and she's in Gojo's house. And Good Small Company is taking their sweet time with that Nendoroid. And Eastream's also taking their sweet time with that 
a uh, very expensive cosplay of Marin figure. Of course, like everyone's gonna go fucking goblin mode when an official figure drops, you know? So I think that's really all I wanted to say other than I'm hoping that she goes back up on Tom. By the way, speaking of a Tokyo Otaku mode, the Lamrock Miku is back up for pre-orders even though she's releasing like next month. Like, I don't know what happened, but I guess she got delayed and a lot of people like dropped their pre-orders and now she's back up. So I'm getting that now. <laughs> so let's go. And I'm hoping that Marin, this whole Marin situation of international like opening gets situated if not like like she'll there's there's gonna be better figures uh, i hope copium if not i'm just gonna go buy a fucking resin figure at this point man like i don't want to fucking deal with paying 300 dollars for kind of like a eh, okay figure compared to like a resin figure where it's just like shaded and also 300 dollars. before i go i just wanted to mention that in August, I'm going to be laxing up on the content that I'm making. I'm still going to be doing videos about anime figures every other Wednesday, but on every other Wednesday, I'm going to be uploading VODs that happen at twitch.tv slash catchmyjk because August, funny enough, is my birth month. I was born on August and I just need to like chill out for a month and I will be back doing some big chonky videos in September. So if anybody asks why my content looks like the way it does, tell them to finish this video because Marin Kiga is really cool and I'm hoping that Freeing makes a bunny figure of her and they don't fuck it up like my I can't believe they fucked up on my she was really easy. Come on Freeing, don't fuck it up, my god.